All right, guys, so today we're gonna to take a look at the brand new HyperX Cloud Buds. Now this is a wireless slash somewhat wired because it is the neck band style uh, pair of earbuds that comes in retailing at $60. And it actually is kind of interesting the way that they're marketing these because the original HyperX earbuds that I tested that had the wired connection actually advertised as being a gaming pair of earbuds. It was on the packaging, it was on the website, it's on Amazon. Like you could tell it was made for gaming. Where these don't actually say gaming on the packaging uh, and on the website it says for casual gaming but that's after it already lists music and movies. So it's almost like gaming is an afterthought and I'm going to give you my opinion on why I think they did this. But let's go ahead and start with some of the specs, the features, what you get inside the box and see if it's worth the $60 price tag. Now to start with, these do have 14 millimeter dynamic drivers, which is very impressive in a pair of earbuds. They also use Bluetooth 5.0, and they also have Aptex HD playback. Now that in itself is already very intriguing on a pair of earbuds that cost $60. Now, as far as the IP rating, I couldn't find an official IP rating on the packaging or on their website. Uh, so I would assume this is probably okay against rain and light splashes, but definitely make sure you don't drop these into water. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, you are getting three sets of silicone ear tips, but these are a proprietary ear tip, which basically means it's only made to fit these earbuds. This is not one of those earbuds that you're gonna be able to go online and find like foam replacement tips or different tips uh, to be able to fit you. You're going to have to use the ones they've included in the box. Other stuff that's included in the box is it does come with a mesh travel bag. That way you're able to just kind of ball these up throw them in the bag and it makes it a little bit easier to carry and then as far as the charging cable it comes with a USB-C cable speaking of the charging cable I feel like the battery life definitely benefits from having the neck band style design because you're able to house the battery in a control box instead of having to cram it into the earbuds so you're going to get around 10 hours of use on a single charge which in my opinion is going to get most people through a day now, as far as the earbuds themselves, I found them to be extremely comfortable. Uh, they do kind of sit in your ears like AirPods do, but because of the proprietary grips, uh, the silicone is keeping them from moving them around, uh, but it's also causing a good enough seal where it feels like earbuds that have normal silicone ear tips. So I would almost kind of consider this a hybrid design between AirPods and say a pair like the Galaxy Buds where you have the silicone ear tips. And then the wing tips that are attached to it also keep them from moving around and it's just extremely comfortable now as far as the controls go like I said there is a little control box uh, that allows you to play and pause turn your volume up and down and skip your tracks forward and backwards and then the only other button on these is actually located more around your shoulder uh, that's another little box where you have your charging port but that's also where your power button is located now one big advantage to these if you're going to be using them for calls and for gaming is the fact that the microphone is right there on that control box which is located right there near your mouth. So it's not a microphone that's back here in your ear trying to kind of channel your voice in. You actually have that microphone by your mouth and I think they did a very good job with the mic on these but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. Alright guys so here is a mic test using the HyperX Cloud Buds. Like I said, I think it does a very good job of picking up my voice, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And now here is a mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now this is the part of the video where I like to play a few samples. That way you guys can kind of hear some of the characteristics of the earbuds themselves. But let's go ahead and check out some of those samples here. We used to hang around town pretty late I spent the week thinking about her Next day, it was easier then
So now that you guys have heard some of the samples from these, I want to give my opinion on the sound. But before I do that, I want to kind of go back and talk about why I'm seeing that they're not really aiming this for gaming. Uh, and the reason I feel like they're doing this is because this is a wireless pair of earbuds. If you're going to be playing intense gaming like Call of Duty or Fortnite or things like that, there is always going to be that slight little bit of lag. Now these don't have like a low latency mode or an ultra low latency gaming or movie mode, but I will say this, where it does say for casual gaming, I think it did a fantastic job. I didn't actually notice any kind of lag with movies or videos, but again, games like Call of Duty and Fortnite, you are gonna notice that slight little bit of lag. So I do understand why they're not just labeling this as a gaming earbud. But outside of that, having these for movies and having these for music, I was actually blown away by the sound coming from these. I felt like it had really good volume levels, but the one thing that I was surprised about the most was the bass. I expected a very thick, punchy bass. Uh, the bass definitely has plenty of impact, but it kind of feels like it sits back a little bit. And I think that's more so because of the design. Like I said, it kind of shares the design of AirPods where it's kind of sitting in your ear a little bit, and it's not a pair that you're cramming down in your ear canal. So it's causing a little bit of loss when it comes to sealing off your ears, which is gonna pull back a little bit of the bass impact. Now, when it comes to the mids and the highs, I was really impressed with these. Uh, the mids, I felt like dialogue came through very well, vocalists came through really nicely, and even acoustic guitar had this really nice tone to it. Now, when it comes to treble, um, I definitely won't say this is near being harsh. It's tuned up enough where you're able to hear details clearly. Um, I had no issue with feeling like it got, you know, covered up by the bass or got muddy at any times. I feel like this is a very clear sounding earbud, which again is not something I would have expected. Uh, when you look at this, you want to think that this is a gaming earbud, but this is a really good earbud for all types of media. I really enjoyed using these, and I would say this is probably the closest thing to a wireless gaming earbud that you would want to use. Uh, you do have the Razer Hammerhead that are true wireless gaming earbuds, but even those still have a little bit of lag with games like Call of Duty and Fortnite. Now, as far as the sound stage and sound imaging, because of their design, it had a much more open feel than a lot of earbuds. It made it really enjoyable for watching movies for some reason. Again, it just kind of felt natural and being able to tell where things are coming from, these did an excellent job with. Overall, I was really impressed for the $60 price tag. Now, as far as cons, I really wish that they had a fast charge feature, especially considering these don't have a case that's charging them like true wireless earbuds. So you are going to have to sit there and wait for a full charge if they are completely dead. And then the only other thing is I wish that there was an IP rating and that's just kind of peace of mind if you plan on using these and being outdoors. But overall, I was very impressed with this product and I think it more than holds up to the price tag. Uh, but guys, that's my video on the brand new HyperX Cloud Buds. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.